guys, welcome back. Today we are going to review the new annual pass program, which is now called the Magic Key Program. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go through each one of the keys and what our thoughts are on it and which one we're gonna go get. So yes. We're super excited. We are super excited. So we, so we started the channel because we, prior to lockdown, we were at Disney all the time. Even living in Arizona, we, we would do one day turnarounds. Um, it's possible, I like to drive, so it's not an issue for some people, it is, but so we went a lot and then- At the least once a month. At, at least. least. At least, there are a couple times we went twice a month. Um, we get up and we leave here. Uh, we leave the Phoenix area, um, it depends. Um, if we have uh, character dining, we leave a little bit after midnight to get there. So that gives us, <clears throat> I can get there in about five hours, but sometimes because we go during the weekday, right as we come into the LA Anaheim area, traffic is um, pretty backed up. So we gave ourselves much more time. Um, most of the other times, if we don't have a breakfast, we leave 2.30, 3 o'clock. Um, and we used to stop at a 24 hour Starbucks. And then uh, Lauren said that takes too much time and she <laughs> the neighborhood scares her. So we don't go anymore. <laughs> so I- It's a scary area yeah, at 12 o'clock at night or 12 o'clock in the morning. It, it is, but um, I just, I needed my coffee, but you know whatever so um and another thing that i really would suggest because because you're not going every day so when we drive we do qualify for the normal hov lanes then they have the fast pass lanes it's called fast track by the way not fast pass fast oh, pass is disneyland <laughs> that's right it is isn't it and technically anyone you do not have to have a california uh, residency or anything for this it's just it's their toll their toll so yeah. a lot of people they're not gonna pay it but because we are only there a couple times a month and we need to be there ASAP <laughs> we have the little fast trans sponsor yeah so we, a little, little fast track thing yeah and so and we saved us a ton of, a ton time, of time like and two money. hours yeah like it's it's amazing and it's really fun to get into that lane and be like ah, see ya bye yeah. so <laughs> i would say that if you are maybe from the out of state area and you don't want to sit in it doesn't cost anything you just have to just regenerate so, the card yeah so it um i have a, a card linked to that uh the fast track thing and it puts $30 on it. Mm -hmm. And then once the $30 is done, it just adds another $30 mm -hmm. on it. So we put a debit card, credit card, whatever you want to put on there, you can put it, link it to mm -hmm. your account. And it doesn't you don't have anything. to pay the tolls. You don't have to, so, I mean, you are paying the tolls obviously, but you don't get a bill in the mail that says, hey, you went through California yeah. and yeah. you need to pay the so tolls. So it's well worth it. So I would suggest if you don't want to wait in the traffic because you have a you know a place and a time to be because I know that especially when we have breakfast reservations as soon as let's say Goofy's Kitchen opens we need to be there and yes. so we have had a couple close calls and then I was like we just need to purchase the fast fast track fast track pass yeah. yes so definitely worth it for non I mean obviously California residents too but non-California residents, you don't have to be a California resident mm -hmm. to have that. Yeah, so it is well worth it and I would highly recommend it. So let's get into our keys. We're yes. gonna start at the lowest one and work our way up. Okay, so I will take the first key and I will have to read it from my iPad. I'm so sorry, guys. So I will say eat every single one of them. This is just, I think this is just a Disney thing across the board, Disney World, any Disney location around the world is doing everything reservation style. So you have to have a reservation to get into the park. Mm -hmm. You can't just buy the ticket. You have to have a reservation with that ticket. Mm -hmm. So kind of kind of stinks, but and I think it has mainly to do with 
with the pandemic. And with making these reservations, I have seen on some chats, um, I have not confirmed this, but um, cast members are saying that um, with the key, the magic key pass, there is a certain percentage allotted for pass holders and the remaining or the other, so a larger percentage is for the general public. And that is their reservation system. We will be booking our magic key reservations based on what pass holders are allotted. So if we're, say we're allotted 20% of the entries for that day, once those sell out for that day, that's it. There's no more pass reservations. So if you still want to get into the park, you will have to buy a regular ticket and book a reservation under the general public who does not have a pass. You will have to do it that way. I did speak with a cast member the other day and she did say that it is possible to make same day reservations. She said, I, I'm, she said that as long as the reservation is there, you can book it. So mm -hmm. it's not like you have to um, book. I mean, you can book up to 90 days in advance, but um, which is obviously the best choice. Um, but if the tick, if there is available reservations for uh, key holders or for regular um, people who are going to the park, you can make same day reservations just so that is out there mm -hmm. it is an option but it may not be something that you get all the time and you you have to cancel the previous day before eleven fifty nine. that is your last second to cancel last minute to cancel after that once it hits midnight and you are a no show then you will be docked for that no show so um we'll see how that goes the Imagine Key. So this is for Southern California residents only. And this is similar to what the SoCal, what was it called? Uh, flex Pass. Yeah, SoCal Flex Pass, when they were annual passes. So if you are a Southern California resident, you're looking at $399 for your pass or key and you will um, receive up to two park reservations to hold at a time. So we looked up what it meant for a reservation when it comes to park hopping, and it is one reservation. Um, you just have to start at the park that you chose first, and then you can start hopping after 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. So one reservation for is for your entire day. Yeah, and it's either, you get to choose either one park or both parks. You can't just go back and forth. You have to do, when you make your reservation, you're either doing one park or both parks. And, and when you do both parks, you start at the one that it tells you to start at first. So yes. whether you decide to start at Disneyland or California Adventure, you have and to stay there till one. Till one. Mm -hmm. And so then regarding merchandise and food and beverage, or food and beverage selection, the discount is 10%. Parking is not included. On Parking this. is not included. Mm -hmm. um, so Southern Calif so anyone in California, but they are able to have, still have the payment plan, which I know California residents are going to foo foo fee me for this. <laughs> but I think that when they implemented the payment system, I think that is when their attendance just became so incredibly overwhelming but I see both sides. I see how everybody can get a pass and it's very affordable for families. But for some people, do you have to go every day, all day? I mean, it's your pass, you buy it. But um, I do think that that is what contributed to the increase in the park attendance and the overcrowding. And there is blackout dates for this one. Yes, there are 260, 235. 235 blackout dates. So these poor people. <laughs> so um, the Imagine Key is $19 per month 
after you put down your initial down payment of $179. So this one is for Southern California residential. Yes. So now the next one. So the next one is called the Enchant Key. Mm -hmm. And it is $649 um, and $40 a month after you have put down the $179 if you're a California resident. Mm -hmm. This one, you can hold up to four reservations at a time. Um, and you get 10% off of merchandise and food and beverage. And this, I believe, was similar to the, um, I forget which one it was that it was similar to, but there are blackout dates with this one as well. I don't remember how many were on this one, but there are blackout dates for the Enchant Key. And again, reservation is And needed. no, parking is not included. Yes, parking is not included. No. Okay, next okay. one. So the next one is the Believe Key. And the Believe Key is $949 after a California resident makes their initial down payment of $179. They're looking at a monthly payment of $65 for 12 months. Um, obviously, you have the option to, if you're a Californian, you have the option to also just buy your pass outright. Um, or if you're out of the state of California, you do have to purchase your pass at the time. So you have to chuck up the whole $949. And this one is similar to what the signature was. Yes, and you can hold up to six park reservations at a time. You receive 10% off of merchandise, 10% off of food and beverage, and you do get 50% off on parking. Yes. And there are still blackout dates. Um, obviously the last, um, I think there's only like maybe, maybe a hundred. It's like way less. Like this is the one that has the least amount of blackout dates. Yeah. And it's, and it's kind of, it's similar to the signature pass because it's the week before, what is it? The week of, or week before Christmas through just after the first of the year. I think last year, I think it was when they were still open, it was the 5th of January, I think. Yeah, something like um, that. It looks like, I believe, the 4th of July. Um, your busy holiday and school holidays. Like, I think that, um, like, President's Day, I think, is a blackout. Um, so there's a little bit more frequent blackout dates for the Believe key. And then... The last key. The Holy Grail key. This is the dream key. And this is similar to what the Signature Plus was. Um, there are no blackout dates. You get 20% off merchandise, 15% off of food, and parking is included. Woo! Yay! So this one is $1,399. And for California residents, it is $102 per month after your $179 down payment. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can hold up to six reservations at a time. And um, yeah, that's, yeah. That's all the Dream Key has less restrictions, really none. Um, and so the Dream Key is the one that we will be purchasing. Yay! So we are going to be purchasing the Dream Key. And um, our main reasoning for this is, obviously, well, there's two, but no blackout dates and the free parking because we go so much, putting another $20 every time you go for parking is... Well, it's, it's 25 Oh, and one uh, Yeah, well, no, it's always been 25 Oh. I it was 20. Well, the, prior to the pandemic, it was 25. Um, I've heard that they want to bring it up to 30. So I don't know. So, and then I know a lot of people have questions in regards to the Premier Pass, which prior to the pandemic and when everything was normal, we actually were going to purchase the Premier Pass. And the Premier Pass is an annual pass for Disneyland and for Disney World and we were going to go ahead and tie that in with our vacation. Now that it is um, after the parks opening, after the pandemic, 
they right now there is they said they are working on something similar but i know that it might be held up because right now no one can purchase an annual pass in florida and so you can renew your passes. you can renew your pass but you can they they, can, they, want, they are not taking new annual pass holders. So I think they're going to wait until it is open to everyone in Florida. And then I think they will come together with um, a variation of what was the premier pass. And for us, I think it's beneficial because we are going for the 50th uh, anniversary in Florida. And then once we go on that trip, we would still have the rest of our pass left which means we can just hop on a flight on a friday and go to the kingdom for a day or two and then just fly home so and then another thing that they removed from and this is all parks um they do not have the max pass anymore and from my understanding is the reasoning behind this which i'm not really sure i understand why they did this was because of the pandemic it was causing too many crowds but to me personally, I think the magic pass or the max pass dispersed the crowds, but <laughs> but they are so there there's no max pass. And you can't purchase it um at the park later. And photo passes are not included on any of these, which is really disappointing. Mm -hmm. Um but I did contact the um Cast member. cast member and she did say that you can still purchase it's twenty dollars per day uh for the photo pass and you can get those anytime you go so mm -hmm. i mean it's not i, I don't th i i'm disappointed because i really loved that that photo pass mm -hmm. so now i mean we didn't use it every time but now we're gonna notice <laughs> that we didn't use it every time so yeah. we kind of have to decide when we go in are we going to use photos today or not and purchase the the photo pass but no max passes are available at any of the parks no and um the cast member did say that as guidelines and restrictions and if this ever gets any better there may be stuff that they may add back mm -hmm. but because of the pandemic and all these viruses and um they're kind of just giving the basics for the um for the magic keys and in the future there may be some other things that will be added either back in or something new but right now it is really just based on crowd control and not a large quantity of people gathering in one place yeah so uh these go on sale august 25th there is not a limit of how many they're going to give. You can purchase them at any time. If you do purchase them within the first 66 days, you get a special magnet and a little welcome packet and everything like that. Um, and why is it within the first 66 days? I actually was going to ask you that. I don't know. Because <laughs> Disneyland is 66 years old. Oh. Because last year was the 65th, remember? Yeah. We got true. our little pass. So that's why this is. I was actually thinking it was Walt's favorite number. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because it's because today or today this year is the 66th birthday of um, the Magic Kingdom Disneyland. Yeah. So. So we're super excited. Um, we probably will wait until probably about September, maybe October, to purchase them because. Of just everything that's going on and and it's still kind of really hot there and it yeah. gets pretty miserable so but we are definitely getting them and we will be going to Disney and we will be taking you with us so and so and the other thing too is that holding off for a little bit longer besides the heat and the humidity in the summertime in California is that if we push it out we would be renewing our pass just two months before we leave to go to the 50th World. celebration. And so hopefully by then they will have a premiere pass so that when we renew it, that we can purchase, we can upgrade to the two parks. So, yeah. so yes. So we'll see. And we are super excited and Very. we can't wait. And we will be bringing you guys with us. So hang on, here we go. Yes, so um, again, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, 
and comment down below or if you have any questions also just put them down below and also don't forget to uh, click the notification bell so that you receive a notification on when we post new videos yes. and also don't forget we are also on instagram yes. so the link is in the bio so head on over to instagram because we are um at friends life and disney and we will be of course sharing all of our disney pictures and everything there and so follow us and we will see you guys soon bye everybody bye.